Good morning students. Today is 3rd of April and today we will do first chapter of your NCRT book that is integer class 7th. So as you know students in previous class we have done natural numbers, whole numbers and integers. So first we recall the previous knowledge. First we will write points to be remembered. Now our first point is natural numbers. As you know natural numbers starts from 1 and it also called as counting numbers. These are the counting numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So these are the counting numbers. So natural numbers are the counting numbers. So next is whole numbers. Whole numbers start from 0 like 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So this is about natural number, whole numbers and next is about the integers. Integers is a combined set of negative numbers and whole numbers. So integers are negative numbers and whole numbers. How we can write? In curly bracket that is minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So this dash means they are extend up to infinite. So this is about integers. Now next is how we represent integer on a number line. So students representation of integer on number line so we will take a scale by using a scale we will draw a line and write numbers 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 on the right hand side and negative numbers on the left hand side like minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 and so on this arrow sign indicate that these numbers are not ended they are at infinite so on our right hand side these numbers are positive and on left hand side these numbers are negative and that zero that zero indicate is origin zero is also called it as origin so this is about number line now we will see a few points from the number line what we observe from this number line move further now next is number line the first point is the distance between two consecutive integers always remain the same the distance between two consecutive what do you mean by consecutive Consecutive that is 1 and 2. The distance between these two numbers it should be same. Like if I draw like this 0, 1, 2, 3. Now you can see clearly this gap and this gap is not same. So this is wrong. This is not right. So right way is the the distance should be same 0 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 0 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 these all distance should be same so next point is 0 is neither positive nor negative remember this point 0 is neither positive nor negative move further third point the integer to the left of 0 on the number line are negative that I have told you earlier that left hand side number are negative and those to the right are positive and right numbers are positive. Next point every positive integer is greater than every negative integer. This is very important every positive integer is greater than negative we will take the example see here is plus 7 plus 7 is greater than minus 5 this one is a positive integer and this one is a negative integer positive integer is always greater than negative if both have the same numerical value but 
sign are not same one is plus and one is minus then positive sign is always greater than the negative sign move further next point is zero is smaller than every positive integer and greater than every negative integer we will take example here see positive integer 5 5 is greater than 0 then another example 0 is greater than minus 2 that is the negative integer so 0 is always greater than any negative integer maybe it can be a 100 also minus 100 minus 200 whatever the number it is but 0 is always greater than any negative integer but any positive integer is greater than the 0 next point any integer is greater than all the integer to its left and smaller than the integer to the right on the number line it means what it means that on number line these right hand side integers are always greater than to the left side integer like we can take the example like 4 is always greater than 2 similarly we can take the example 6 is greater than 1 we can take any example with this so this is about the number line so our next point is absolute value so our next point is about absolute value of integer so student this is new concept for you absolute value of integer what is the definition the numerical value of an integer without it without its sign is called its absolute value so absolute value is the numerical value and without its sign so how we will see the absolute value of any integer a is denoted as absolute a that bar is absolute so absolute value can be either positive or zero but never negative remember this thing absolute value can be positive can be zero but cannot be negative i am giving stress over here that it never be negative next we will see the example see example absolute value of plus 5 is if question is find the absolute value of plus 5 how we will solve we will write absolute value of 5 answer will come out to be 5 similarly if absolute value of minus 5 if question is find the absolute value of minus 8 then what we will do find the value of minus 8 absolute value of minus 8 is only 8 we will not put any sign of minus it will come into plus so absolute value can be positive can be zero but never be negative we can take any other example absolute value of minus 100 answer is 100 so move further now in previous class we have done few questions on addition and subtraction first we will recall our memory on the basis of these rules so see these rules addition and subtraction so addition and subtraction rules see as we know plus minus is always minus again minus plus is always minus plus plus is always plus minus minus is always plus now we will take examples of these things now see the first plus minus is always minus if one number is plus another number is minus we will do minus now what about the sign we will see carefully now see here here is plus 8 and here is minus 3 one is plus and other is minus if one number is plus other is minus we will do minus 8 minus 3 is 5 so i write here 5 now what about the sign how we write the sign now we will see which one is bigger we will see the numerical value numerical value that is 8 and 3 which one is bigger 8 so in front of 8 here is a sign of plus so we will put the sign of plus 
so it means if there is one is plus other is minus we will do minus but the sign of bigger term the sign which bigger term having we will put that sign clear we will take another example see here is plus 3 here is minus it one is plus another is minus plus minus is minus so 8 minus 3 is 5 but I put here sign of minus. Why? Because 8 is greater than 3. And what is the sign in front of 8? That is minus. So we will put here minus. So this is the two examples of this first rule. Now move further for the second rule. That is minus plus is minus. Again the sign of bigger term. So whether first term is plus or first term is minus. Always do minus but the sign of bigger term. See the examples. Now here is minus 5 and plus 2. One is minus and other is plus. Now minus plus do the minus. 5 minus 2 is 3. Now what about the sign? Which one is bigger? 5 or 2? 5 is bigger. So in front of 5 there is a sign of minus. So we will put minus. So in this way. We will do the second rule that is minus plus is minus but the sign of bigger term. Now next is, next see the next example that is minus 3 plus 9. Again minus plus minus 9 minus 3 is 6. Which one is bigger? 9 in front of 9 plus so we will put here sign of plus so these two examples i have these uh, examples of these two types rules now third plus plus is plus it's very simple that plus 3 plus 5 come out to be plus 8 3 plus 5 8 there's a no sign of minus all are the sign of plus because plus 3 and plus 5 is plus 8 next is minus minus always do plus Minus minus do the plus. Now what about the sign? See carefully. Minus 3 minus 2. Minus minus do the plus. 3 plus 2 is 5. But the sign of minus. Remember this thing. If 2 minus are there. Minus 3 minus 2 do add them. And then sign but sign is negative number. That is minus 5. So these are the four rules. Remember these four points. Always remember these four points. So in when we will solve the question. Now, these points will be used. Now move further. Now one another property. This property is of integer. Later on we will do the all properties. But right now we will do this property. Because this will use in our questions. That property is additive inverse in class 6 also you have done additive inverse we will recall them additive inverse for every integer a that is a plus minus a is equal to 0 minus a plus a that is also equal to 0 then how it come out to be c thus and my thus minus a is the additive inverse of a minus a is the additive inverse of a and a is the additive inverse of minus a hence minus of minus a is equal to a it means what we conclude from the additive inverse a is this that minus of minus a is equal to a. These both minus will come out to be plus. The sign will be changed. Remember this thing. If outside the bracket here is minus sign. And inside the bracket here is minus sign. Then both minus minus will come out to be plus. That is plus a minus sign will be cancelled. Or you can say in this way also. If outside the bracket the minus sign is there, the inside the bracket the sign will come out to be changed. Instead of minus it will convert into plus. Now we will take example of additive inverse. See 8 plus minus 8 is equal to 0. 
minus 8 plus 8 is equal to 0. Now how we will do this as we know if we solve it in front of it there is a no sign it means it is plus. Plus minus minus as you know outside the bracket if plus sign inside the bracket sign will not change. If outside the bracket here it was if if it was minus then we will change the sign. So plus 8 and minus 8 is 0. Similarly minus 8 plus 8 is 0. This you can easily understand as you know that 5 minus 5 is 0. In previous class we can write this in this way also. 5 minus 5 is 0. It means plus 5. Plus 5 minus 5 is 0 or we can say minus 5 plus 5 is 0. All are the same thing. Means plus minus minus. So 5 minus 5 is 0 but 0 has no sign so we will not put any sign. So in this way we will do additive inverse. This is all about integers. The introduction of integer, their definition, the few things we have done. Then later on we will do another points. Thank you.